Now, much like Harrison and his Cardinals, SLU is feeling really good about the team they've got next year. Why wouldn't they with some great talent, Yuri Collins, Gibson Jimerson, and the A-10 preseason player of the year announcing he's returning to the team after a season-ending knee injury last season. That man is Javante Perkins, and as you can tell, he is a certified baller. And when we sat down this week, he told me he's ready to get back to doing what he does best. There are a lot of ways we could start this conversation. I think the easiest way to start is right at the beginning of the season. Obviously, you'd been preparing. The hype was there. We knew the talent you had. But then to go down with the injury, take me through that moment for you, your thoughts going through your head, heading into the, uh, the season that you wouldn't get to play. So I ain't had time to really like, feel sad about myself because that ain't going to help you. So I just try to stay with a positive mindset, come around, smile, and show everybody that I'm all right. You know? like, don't, don't feel sad. I'm, I'm good. I'm all right. So just try to keep everybody positive about it. Of course, we being the people we are, didn't know if we were going to get that chance to see you again. So the decision to come back, what went into it, and, uh, and how'd you come to this decision to make? No, I just feel like a lot of people did want to see me play, you know, this year. But, you know, uh, things happened where I couldn't play. So I was just like, you know, one last time, why not show everybody, you know, and it's the hometown, you know, you can't beat it, you know. My mom gets to see me play home one, one last time, so, I mean, it, it's special. I went to high school, like, right down the street, so, you know, I got a lot of expectations on me, but, you know, we want to we wanna win. We want to win now, so it's like, we don't really got time for all that, but, you know, when I'm out there, I just feel like, you know, I think we could do special things with this team we have now. So coming off this injury, the emotions of stepping back on the floor, can you put into words what it's going to be like to finally put that jersey on for a real game? Nah, not really, you know, because now I'm like at that point where I'm jumping and I'm running a little bit, so it's like, okay, like, yeah, it's cool. Now I want to move to the next step. So I know, like, getting out there to play is just going to be like, oh, man, I know I'm going to be thinking a lot, like, thinking about what I want to do and all that, but I'm going to got to calm down just for life. Remember, it's just basketball at the end of the day, so, you know, I might be thinking a lot about it, but it's like, right, let me relax. So if there was one thing that you learned more about yourself than anything else during this whole rehab process, what would that be? Just like, not to say don't take it for granted, but like, just give it to all every time you're out there because you never know what can happen. Like, now that it is, I didn't got injured. I never thought I would get injured before, but like, now that it happened, it's like, okay, maybe I should just take everything more serious than I already did, you know? Just. Don't, 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 don't take the easy way out of everything. Just don't just take it for granted all the time. Love the game just a little bit more? Exactly, yeah.